this video, we're going to look at how to make a cut file of some of the stamps you own. So I'm going to open up a stamp that I stamped, I scanned, and I saved it as a JPEG. So I'm going to open it up and zoom in a little bit here. And this one's got, it was pretty, it's stamped pretty well. I'll show you in another video when you don't have a real good stamp what you have to do and it's a lot more work. In this one, I knew I added this little line right here so I'd get a better trace. Because if I didn't, it would be open and it wouldn't trace. So what we're going to do is select it. Go up to our trace window select trace area, drag, let's make sure I've got the whole thing here, there we go. I'm going to uncheck high pass, I'm going to select low pass, and I'm going to increase the threshold. That looks pretty good, but I know it's not going to work because I see all these little gray areas. It's not a solid line. And let's trace the outer edge and I'll show you. So all these little red marks, those would all be little objects that were cut. So let's edit undo and increase the threshold a little bit more. That line is, that actually looks pretty good. Let's trace the outer edge and that looks excellent. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I can get rid of my image now, is this size is excellent for masking because it fits the stamp exactly, but I want to have a little edge around my, my stamp, so I'm going to open the offset window, select offset, and I find that for myself, I like 0 0.035 apply and that gives a little edge and some people if you if you like more just add more if you want a quarter of an inch go 0.25 and I'm just going to select the inside and pull it off I'm going to zoom out and what I'll do is on my files that I save I usually will have my final image I want to cut on the outside and on this side I'll put the mask and then I save this as a studio file and if I want to save the whole thing into my library go file save to library and put in your keywords I'm going to put in Santa and here I'm going to put Santa large and do a description if you'd like I don't usually and okay so now if you check your library under my own designs, you'll see your own file added. And that's all there is to making your own um, cut files for the stamps you own. 